Hi, everybody. I'm James Sabalski, along with Ray Ferraro. Welcome to the Mile High City here in Denver, Colorado. Let's send it down to Ray Ferraro, who was between both benches ringside, Ray. I want to see tonight, James, who's going to be able to take care of the puck. Both teams have been plagued by turnovers of late. They turn the puck over, they make themselves defend way more often than need be. Two teams hungry for two points, and we are ready to drop the puck. The Avs start with possession as we are now underway. Sends it in on the attack. Chicago's going to play the puck from behind the cage. The Blackhawks are on the attack. Puts it on goal, and that one's turned away. Cole's lugging the puck. Oh, the sauce on that pass. And that's blocked away. Quick feed to Dabrinkit. Takes the puck at the point. Back to the blue line. Quick shot. Oh, comes up with a stop. Scores. Well, that's one way to silence the crowd. It is. You don't want to play from behind on the road, chase the game. And they've done a terrific job here early in the first period getting the game's first goal. They were talking about wanting to quiet that home crowd here. Well, they certainly did. Out of the gate quickly, a couple of shifts. Now they're up 1-0. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. Here's a short pass to Keith. Shot, and that banks off a stick. Taken by Johnson. Moves it to McKinnon. Colorado's on the attack. Centered out in front, and that's broken up. Oh, he caught him in the open ice. Yeah, sending a message early there, James. He gets the body contact. Stick saved by the goaltender. Another stop by the goaltender. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. And I think he's seen enough because he stops the play by covering up the puck. Oh, guys are going to be bent over trying to gasp for breath. They'll be in favor of that move. Chicago's up here in the first, and they could easily be up by more based on what they've done offensively. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Colorado's got it along the wall. Chicago's got the puck along the boards. Carpenter's picking wow. up steam. And now it's grabbed by Smith. Smith's got it against the boards. From the slot, stopped by the goaltender. Tries to get the puck over to Burakovsky. Takes it across the blue line. And that goes off course. Carpenter is working it around in the corner. Let's it fly, and he comes up with it. The Avalanche have gained control of the puck along the wall. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. Quick pass to Jost. Here's a blast, and that goes off a player in front. Handles it along the blue line. And now he moves it to Gerard. Grabbed along the board by Jost. Gerard stick handling in his own zone. Moves it quickly over to Gerard. Chicago's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Slides the puck down low. Moves along the blue line. And the lane's clogged up, blocking that. And makes the save. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Moves the puck to Shaw. With authority. Pass to Jost. Burakovsky's got it along the wing. Takes the feed. Colorado's got the puck. Now a quick pass to Donskoy. Donskoy's got it in the offensive zone. And now he tries to get it across to Zadorov. Makes the save. Takes it across the blue line. Dabrinkit's got the puck. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. The Blackhawks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Quick feed to Saad. On the attack along the boards. Hammers the shot. Oh, what a stop. Chicago's execution has been on point so far here in this first period. McKinnon's won it in their own end. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Moves it around along the half wall. 
puts it on net. Stopped by the goaltender. Well positioned save, and he has the rebound over in the corner. There's the physical side. Here's a short pass to McKinnon. Point-to-point -point pass. Landis got caught with this stick, and the officials are signaling for a hooking penalty. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. And let's see what the call is. Hooking's the call. This is what yeah. they kind of call the lazy penalty these days, yeah, right? Yeah, it is, but, it, but really the problem is your feet, and you panic, and you're trying to help, and the more you help, the worse it gets. Go sit down. And he certainly dug himself a hole there. The Avs will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. Well, you're always looking for scoring chances. You're not going to get anything better than this. A power play trailing by one. Chance to even the score up here on the power play. 35 seconds. Chicago's got the lead here late in this first period. Camps won the faceoff. Moves it to Shaw. Shaw swooping in on the attack. Final minute approaching here in this opening frame. He grabs the puck here at the point. Colorado's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Grips it and rips it! And a beautiful stop by the glove! With the blast! Big save by the goaltender! Chicago's been the better team here in this first period. More shots and more goals. Just a better all-around execution. Taves has won the draw. Quick pass to Mata. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Sends the pass over. Denied by the goaltender. And the first period comes to an end. Well, a fun start at both ends of the rink. 1-0 is a score to the first frame. Kids, don't forget if you're a member of our rookie team, you'll have the opportunity to have a couple of our players sign autographs after the game. Both teams heading down the tunnels. We'll take a quick breath ourselves and be back for the second period. is still intact as this period gets underway and they win the draw. Chicago's been the more aggressive team offensively and they continue to lead here in the second. Taves wins it in the dots. Feeds it over to Carpenter. Moves it quickly over to Taves. Puts it on goal. Nice save by the keeper to trap that puck to his chest. Ooh, you don't want to be on the receiving end of that. That is a freight train that went right over top of him. Lots of time left in this period. 1-0 the score. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. The Avs power play has expired. Both teams now back at even strength. From the blue line, they take control of it. Hammers it! Beautiful glove stop on that one. The Blackhawks have looked good offensively tonight, generating all sorts of opportunities. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Quick feed to Johnson. Here they come on the attack. Chicago's got the puck in their own end. Quick feed to Strom. Johnson's got it in the defensive end. Slides it to Rantanen. And it's a quick pass to Landeskog. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Handles the puck. 
strong defensive effort. The Avalanche have the puck on the attack. And there's the save. Strom's going to play it against the half wall. Here he is in front. Denied by the blocker. Passes on over to Kadri. Kadri's got it in the offensive end. Right in the slot. Let's it go from the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. Had to be sharp. That's a great A chance. And down he goes as the puck goes free. There's the whistle stopping play. Penalty coming up here. Landestout's getting two for hooking. So quickly into position, now the defensive player's got to scramble. He takes the hooking penalty. And the power play unit takes to the ice their first chance to try to make something happen in this game. I always felt on the power play, the first one was really important for any team. If you stumble around on the first power play, guys start to press as you get more and more of them through the game. Chicago's gained possession along the boards. Over the line they come. Puck scooped up by Smith. Stopped by the goaltender. Nearing the midway mark of the period. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Smith's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. And he rings the post! He scores! Ah, the power play comes through. They move the puck nicely, and they're able to capitalize on the extra man. It's hard enough to be the goalie when you have to stop the shot. This thing's like a rubber ball. It's bouncing all over the place and somehow ends up behind the goalie. That's a tough break for him. Chicago's now up by a pair. Still lots of time to go, but they've been good tonight. There's nothing to complain about. Their coaches look like they're pretty satisfied, but this is when you push harder, try and get the third goal and make this. Scores! Three straight goals here. They have really laid the boots to those guys in the last little bit. Really nice play. Quick pass on the tape and into the net. So quickly the goalie can't get closed up and make the save. Chicago's back at center. What a performance to this point. They've moved the puck so well that they've had the puck the whole night. Their opponents are chasing it around like a carrot on a stick. Takes the feed from the left side. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Hammers one. Off target. Here's a short pass to Taze. And that one's picked off in the neutral zone. With possession along the wall. Here's a chance on the doorstep. Big save. Up along the wing. Along the half wall with the puck. Shoots it, drops that puck tight into his chest. And there's the whistle giving him a chance to exhale. The Blackhawks have been putting lots of shots on net and have been rewarded for their efforts. Center's jammed up and the winger grabs the puck. Carries it across the line. And now he moves it quickly to Sidoro. Here's an opportunity, denied by the goaltender. Tries to feed it over to Dabrinkit. Moves the puck along the half wall. Hangs onto the puck. Rips it, denies him on the play. Like that save as he was able to deflect it to the corner. Quick shot, denies him with the save. Branton has got the puck in his own zone. Moves it to McKinnon. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Shaw's carrying it ahead. Centered out in front, and that one's broken up. Icing's the call. You know the coaching staff's not going to love that one. Well, I can think of about three plays he could have made other than that one, but hey, that's the way it goes. Now you need your centerman to win a draw. McKinnon's used all of his weight to lay this hit along the board. Really solid contact.
Chicago's dominated right from the start. Their offense clicking on all cylinders, and they lead here in the second. Scores! His second of the game. Well, he's been on it tonight. Really good skating lanes. He's finished off a couple of plays, too. Not only are their players tired after the icing call, they lose the draw, they lose control of the puck, and it ends up in their net. I don't think the goalie said either. Chicago's offensive onslaught continues. What are you seeing down at ringside, Ray? Domination. They've been the better team for most of this night. Now they're in such a large lead, it's very comfortable. Feeds it to Smith. Quick pass to Carpenter. And he's able to handle that one. Zach Smith, time of the goal, 14 minutes, 27 seconds. Chicago's got to be happy with where their game is at so far tonight as they continue to lead big here late in the second. Smith's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Colorado's got a hold of it against the wall. Carries it in. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Barbario. Comes up with the stop. Play kept alive into another pressure cooker situation. Unstoppable! Feeling all sorts of heat in the defensive end, trying to clear. With the blast! Great save by the goaltender who was in the right place at the right time. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. From off the wall and onto a stick. Burakovsky's got it against the boards. On the attack along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Wilson. Looks to set up at the point now. Moves across the point. And that one's stopped. Puck grabbed by Carpenter. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Grabs control of it at the point. And misses on the tip. Oh, man, he's frustrated with himself. He's got to get that on the net. Let's it go. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. And that's time on the period. Unrelenting. But the clock just simply ran out. Wow. That was impressive to finish up. The third period is just moments away. And both Ray and I will be ready to bring you all the action here on EA Sports. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James, and we are ready to kickstart this third period. Third period underway here. This has been a total squash to this point. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? And the gloves are off, ready to respond yeah. with a different kind of hit. Keith's not so sure about the weight class here. He says no thanks. And he makes the easy save. Wow, did the ice get small for him. There's nowhere to go, and he had to absorb this huge hit. Chicago's on total cruise control early in this third period. The Frozen Biscuits dropped him. Scores! Eventually, the puck finally goes in the net. They've been working at this all night. Finally, in the late stages, they get one. You make a mistake that big, there's only one place you're going to find the puck. Yeah, that's in your net. That's where the puck is. thinking more and more offense here now in the third. No reason to sit back. You're in a hole here. You need goals and you need lots of them. Attack. Puck picked up by Johnson. Passes right to the front. There he is from the slot. And he makes the save. Well, by being in the right position, James, he gets so tight to the shooter. There's nowhere for the puck to go. Kane's got it along the wing. Unloads one. And he says no.
the Blackhawks have built themselves up a comfortable lead here in this third period. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Comes up with a stop. Feeds it down low. Takes the feed. Takes it out of the offensive zone and back to center. Comes up with a steal. Frank Kuz is on top of the puck, stopping the play. Looks like he's seen enough. The potential to start running around in your zone causes him to cover the puck up. Chicago's been a dominant force offensively. Plenty of quality scoring opportunities, and they lead it big time early in the third. Taken by Strom. Colorado's looking to break out of their own end. Quick feed to Wilson. Pass right in front. Scores! Is that momentum screaming now? Well, he's whispering. If he can get another one, he'll start to scream here. He didn't waste any time. If he would have stopped that puck, the goalie would have had time to readjust. As it is, it's in the net. Still got to find two more goals, but they at least have one back. That gives them a little bit of hope, and the bench seems to have come alive a little bit. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Handles the pass from the right wing. And he slides it quickly to Seabrook. Big time defensive play. Takes the pass. Puts it on net. Chicago's got control of it now from their own end. Carpenter's got it across the line. Slides it across, and he scores! What a shot! Well, if he was about four inches taller, maybe he would have got to that. Desperation effort, but no goal. Scoring abilities have been on full display so far this evening and here in the third. Really impressive display. They've moved the puck well, skated, really forechecked. Well, there's really nothing they haven't done tonight. Here's a short pass to Carpenter with the stop. Smothered that in close chance. Well, he's got two. Do you think he can get three? He's never had that in the game before. Chicago's showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big time. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And makes the save. The Avs gain possession along the wall. Joe gaining momentum. And he slides it quickly to Gerard. Off the crossbar. My goodness, what a shot. Here's an odd man rush to his teammate. He scores. Well, I like the way they stayed aggressive here, James, after scoring once. They didn't just settle the game down. They went after it again. If you're the goalie here, you just want to move as quick as you can. Maybe it'll hit you, but it's so close to the net that pass is on the tape and off the tape in a hurry. The Blackhawks have been whipping their opponents all night long, and it continues here in the third. This has been as good a performance as you can possibly imagine. There's really nothing to say behind their bench right now. Zach Smith. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Moves it to Rantanen. Landeskog's got it in the offensive zone. Shuts him down. Scooped up along the wall by Rantanen. Wrist one in front. Oh, and another big stop. Moves the puck up to Saad. Saad's got the puck. Tries to get it to Landeskog. Quick pass to Gustafson. Moves it around along the half wall. Pulverizing hit. He got all of that one. That's going to feel tomorrow like he was in a car crash today. That was a nine on the Richter scale. Chicago's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. 
from point blank. Gives them nothing in front. Aggressive stop out on top of the crease to make the save on a dangerous chance. Right in the open ice, that one's picked off. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Excellent stick work on the play. Moves it quickly over to Gustafson. Comes up with a stop. Oh, and a great defensive play there. Oh, what a beautiful glove save. Yeah, he makes a nice save here with the glove, as you mentioned, but he's able to hang on to it. That's a tough save from this position on the ice. Chicago's up big time here in the late stages of this third period. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. The Avalanche have the puck against the boards. Now a quick pass to Wilson. Handles the puck at the point. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Quick feed to Taves. And he gains the zone here. Sends it across. Scores! Oh, what a one-timer to Marion! No way sometimes for the goalie to catch up to the pass. It's too quick. It's one-timed into the net. And we're going to see a swapping of the goaltenders. I would say there's some relief here. He's been ventilated tonight. Now he gets to go take a break. Chicago's having a lot of fun out there tonight, but Ray, I can imagine it's a different story on the other side of the bench. Yeah, half the guys out here are having fun. The other half, this game can't end quick enough. Scored by number 17, Dylan Strong. Here's a short pass to McKinnon. And now it's grabbed by Mata. Colorado's got possession here in the neutral zone. Moves it to Landeskog. Moves the puck. Pass back to the point. One minute left. Less than 60 seconds left here in the final frame. Passes over to Kajula. Kajula's going to play it against the half wall. And it comes up with the save. Gerard's taking it from his own end. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And it's a quick pass to Calvert. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Here's a shot. Blocker saved by the goalkeeper. Slides the puck to Smith. With possession along the wall. Blistering shot! He scores! Well, a little puck luck on the plate! Pretty clearly, this puck changes direction. The defender's got his stick on the ice, and it deflects right there off his stick and into the net. Chicago's put in one of their most complete efforts that we have seen in quite some time, up big time late in this third. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Colorado's ready to go on the attack. Shot stopped by the goaltender. And the whistle essentially delays the inevitable here. Yeah, nobody's very happy, James, in a blowout game with another whistle. Start and stop. Everybody wants to go home. The Blackhawks are in the home stretch of this one, leading big time in the third. Smith's won it off the faceoff. Quick pass to Smith, and that pass is intercepted. Gets in front of it, and it's in! He scores! Gets his own rebound, and makes it count! Nice play to follow his shot. He gets the initial shot, follows it in tight and is able to beat the goaltender with his own rebound. Chicago's offense has not been a problem tonight. They put a lot of shots on net and lead it big time late in this third period. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Scored by number 72, And we are all over with this one. Ray, more shots, more offense, and they convert it. It dominated the game start to finish. You got a feel for the losing goaltender. He had to feel like he was at the end of a firing squad there. And that'll do it for Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Thank you.